In this video, we will consider Ohm's law and the question styles that test your understanding of it for electrotechnical exams. In particular, the 2365 Level 2 and 3 Diploma courses, the 5357 and 5393 Electrotechnical courses of study, and the 8202 series. Exam questions in these qualifications often follow a particular style. Electrotechnical exams will frequently include questions on Ohm's law. They will test your understanding of the relationship between the three units of Ohm's law and test your ability to make basic calculations with Ohm's law. Do you understand the different types of resistor circuit and can you manipulate these to find answers? The Ohm's law triangle must be understood. It will help us to determine what is happening in a circuit. In this example shown here, if we know the circuit voltage and the current flowing, we can use Ohm's law to calculate the resistance. You should all be familiar with Ohm's law, but a quick refresher will not hurt. If we replace the V and I in an empty triangle with the values that we know, 10 and 2 in this case, the actual positions of the numbers tell us the mathematical calculation to perform. Here we have 10 over 2 and this is a division calculation 10 over 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5 ohms. This slide shows the three calculations that we can perform. If you know any two values we can find the third. You must understand the basic types of resistor circuit. In an exam expect to be asked questions on resistor circuits Easy marks towards a pass if you get it right. Shown here is a series resistance, one resistor after another, like a daisy chain. The total resistance in this circuit is the sum of each of the resistances and will always be bigger than the biggest resistance. Add more resistors in series and the total resistance will go up. And this is a parallel circuit. The resistances are stacked side by side and the total resistance, sometimes called the effective resistance, is always smaller than the smallest resistance. Add more resistances in parallel and the effective resistance will go down. And we can have series parallel circuits where some resistances are in parallel and then these are in series with other resistors. Adding resistances to this circuit can increase the resistance or decrease the resistance depending on where the extra resistance is added. Something that we will cover in more detail in another video. For now we want to concentrate on parallel circuits and in this video we will look at the three different methods of calculating a parallel resistance. Most exams will include questions on parallel circuits and these will often be three resistors in parallel as in our examples and there will be plenty of practice questions at the end of this video. In many exams you are being asked to calculate what single resistor will replace the three parallel resistors. They will use the words calculate the total resistance in the circuit shown or what is the effective resistance of the three parallel resistances shown here. The first of these methods is the reciprocal method and we will work through this step by step so that you understand. Once mastered, it really is easy to use. Let's start with this one. Three resistors are in parallel. What is the total or effective resistance, RT? In other words, what single resistor could replace all three? We are given the values of each resistor. A reciprocal is just the number one divided by another number. So here, 1 divided by the total resistance is equal to the sum of each of the resistances divided into 1. And the next slide shows the working out. We can say that 1 over RT is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. Putting numbers into the formula, 1 over RT is equal to 1 over 20 plus 1 over 30 plus 1 over 24. If we write these calculations down as we do them, we will have three numbers shown 
which added together make 0 0.125. So 1 over RT is 0 0.125. But that's not the end. There is one more step to go. We have 1 over RT, but we need RT on its own. So turn things upside down to find RT on the top, as shown next. 1 over RT equals 0 0.125. And this will become RT equals 1 over 0 0.125. And putting this into a calculator, we have our answer 8 ohms. Notice that RT, the answer, is smaller than the smallest of the three original resistors. The three parallel resistors are equivalent to this one single resistor. Job done. Many people struggle with getting the numbers into a calculator. So we will look at a reciprocal question and go through step by step which calculator keys should be used. We have the same parallel layout as before but with different value resistors. But we will use the same reciprocal formula as before and this time we will enter it as we would into a calculator. You will need a calculator with memory buttons as shown here. Memory clear, memory plus, memory recall. In the exams you will not be allowed to use your mobile phone or any other smart or internet device. Invest in a handheld calculator with the memory keys on it and get used to using it now so that by the time of your exams you are familiar with how it works. We are told that R1 is 24 ohms, R2 is 18 ohms and R3 is 9 ohms. We must calculate the effective resistance, the total resistance. On my calculator, and most are similar, I would enter the values as follows. And a quick note, if you make a mistake and miss out a number, press a key twice, etc., you may need to start the calculation again. Accuracy of data entry is important, so take your time. I would start with the clear key, the C, to clear any data in the calculator, and then the MC key to clear the memory. Now I know that I'm working from a blank sheet. 1 divided by 24 equals, and the display will show 0 0.04167, or very similar. Now press memory plus to put it into memory. C for clear, 1 divided by 18 equals, and 0 0.05556 is displayed. Press memory plus, and this will be added to the memory. C for clear again, 1 divided by 9 equals, and 0 0.11111 is shown. Press memory plus to put it into the memory. C for clear again, and now 1 divided by MR for memory recall will display 0 0.20833. Then press equals, and the display will show the answer 4.8. The effective resistance is 4.8 ohms. 4.8 ohms is the single resistance that the three parallel resistors make. The only way to learn this is to practice over and over again until it becomes a second nature. You don't want to be learning this on the day of the exam. Now we can look at the total current method, a different way of getting the same answer. This time we we'll calculate the current that flows and then use Ohm's law to find the resistance. We know the voltage for the circuit and we know that every resistor has the same voltage across it. If we divide the voltage by each of the individual resistances we will have the individual currents. 12 volts divided by 6 ohms tells us that R1 has 2 amps flowing through it. Do the same for R2 and R3 and we have 2 amps plus 1 amp plus 0 0.75 amps. Added together, the total current is 3.75 amps. Now use Ohm's law again. Voltage divided by total current will give total resistance. 12 volts divided by 3.75 amps is 3.2 ohms. And that's the answer. RT for the three resistors is 3.2 ohms. Notice that the answer is always smaller than the smallest resistor. 
3.2 ohms is smaller than 6 ohms. This will always be the case and it is a good check on your calculations. Now the MAD method and this is my preferred method of calculating parallel resistors. This method works on two resistors at a time. Calculate a single value for R1 and R2 and call this R4. Then calculate the value for R3 and R4 and this is the answer. It is so easy to adapt to calculate three resistors or more. First we calculate R1 and R2 to find what single value can replace these two. We will call our answer R4. Then we calculate R4 and R3 as two resistors to give us the total resistance. We made R1 and R2 become R4 and then R4 and R3 become RT. The algebraic explanation for this is as shown here. A times B over A plus B is C. We multiply the top row, add the bottom row and then divide the two answers, top over bottom, MAD, M-A-D, stands for multiply, add, divide. Let's do this example. Three parallel resistors, 12 ohms, 4 ohms and 27 ohms. What is the total resistance? Start with R1 and R2, so 12 multiplied by 4 is 48, that's the top row. 12 plus 4 is 16 for the bottom row. We have 48 divided by 16, which is 3 ohms. So R1 and R2 can be replaced with a 3 ohm resistor, which we will call R4. We are now left with just two resistors, 3 ohms and 27 ohms. Repeat the same MAD calculation. 3 multiplied by 27 is 81. 3 added to 27 is 30. And 81 divided by 30 is 2.7. RT, the total resistance, is 2.7 ohms. OK, time for some practice questions to reinforce your understanding. There are three practice questions for you to attempt yourself and there are three methods for each question. Try all three different methods of finding a solution for each question before going on to the next slide with the answer. And these are the reciprocal method, the total current method and the MAD method. Three questions, three ways. This means that there are nine different calculations for you to attempt and the more that you practice, the better that you become. Here is question one. Pause the video, draw the circuit, add the values and attempt all three types of calculation before looking at the answers on the next slide. Attempt each type of calculation. The reciprocal method, the total current method and the MAD method. If you've calculated correctly, all three answers will be the same. Pause the video now. And here are the answers for practice question one. RT is 1.6 ohms and the total current that you would have calculated is 7.5 amps. Practice question two, three more resistors in parallel. Again, pause the video, draw the circuit, add the values and do the three calculations and you will find the answers on the next slide. So pause the video now. And you should have a total resistance of 3.2 ohms and the total current flowing should be 3.125 amps. And lastly, practice question three. Pause the video, make your drawings and notes and do the calculations before looking at the answers. And here is the answer. RT is 3 ohms and IT, the total current, is 10 amps. A brief summary then. The three common types of resistor circuit are the series circuit, the parallel circuit and the series parallel circuit. Always expect questions on Ohm's law and parallel resistances in most electrotechnical exams. Three methods of calculating parallel resistance have been shown here. The reciprocal method, the total current method and the MAD method. Series and series parallel circuits will be covered in a lot more detail in a later video. Thank you for watching, it really is appreciated and we hope that you found this video useful. Please subscribe to our channel 
to get access to all of our videos and remember to click on notify to be sure of not missing our next video. And you will find even more information, videos and help on our website at learnelectrics.com. And don't forget that you can also type in Learn Electrics, or one word, into the YouTube search bar to go directly to our channel at any time from any computer. We are constantly adding new videos to our channel, so don't miss the next one. And once again, thank you for watching, and we hope to see you again very soon.